Well, folks, in today's video, we're going to be seeing if we can get this vintage HO scale American Flyer steam locomotive to run again. I was uh, sent this locomotive uh, a while back, probably about a month ago, and uh, the person who sent it to me said that it didn't run. I have no idea why, but I have a speculation on what the problem could be. Uh, and I think it might have something to do with the uh, gearbox or the motor, just because this is almost completely seized right here. So that would be my guess, but uh, I'm honestly not sure. So uh, yeah, we're going to take this thing apart, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, get it running again. Uh, but before we do any of that, we're going to have to uh, take it over to the track and see if we can diagnose exactly what the problem is, and then we'll go from there. So let's take it over to the track and uh, begin. So we're just going to uh, set the unit up on the track here. I uh, noticed it seems to have uh, its wiring intact, which is uh, a good sign, so I don't think it's going to be an electrical problem. I suspect we're either going to have no response from the motor because it's either burnt out, or uh, if we're lucky we'll have current draw from the motor because then that might mean that the motor is still good. Sometimes when an engine sees uh, the motor burns out, but you know, the other times you're lucky and uh, it's okay. But there's only one way to find out. So I'm applying power. We had current draw for just a moment there. And uh, it looks to be shorted. So I guess we'll go from there. So I think how I'm going to go about this is we're just going to uh, put the loco in a, uh, a foam cradle like so. And we're just going to take out screws and kind of break the engine down until we get at the motor. And I'm hoping from there we can uh, diagnose what exactly is wrong with the uh, motor. If there is a problem with the motor. And then, uh, yeah, if it's not with the motor, we'll look other places. But uh, that's what I want to find out first. Disassembling one of these is going to be uh, kind of new for me because I haven't really uh, disassembled a whole lot of uh, stuff from companies like American Flyers, so uh, I really don't know what to expect. I think it just uses one of those uh, X motors or whatever you want to call them. I can't really remember what they're called exactly, but uh, yeah, I think there's something along those lines. Uh, we've got this screw here. I don't know if that has something to do with its uh, disassembly, but I'm going to remove it anyway. I don't think it will hurt. Yeah, it definitely did something. Got another one? Huh. I'm sure if they did some fancy stuff here too, like if this is actually a secret screw. I don't know, I just find this is sort of suspicious. Well, it definitely does something. But I don't know if it's just for maybe a smoke element or if that actually does connect to the chassis. I really can't tell. Suspicious that this main screw may actually hold the whole thing together. Sometimes the screw that holds the pilot trucks on holds a whole bunch of other things in. And uh, judging by how long it is, I would say that that's probably the case with this particular engine. Yep. And now it should just drop free like so, and we are inside. Okay, good. All right, so there we are. Oh boy, yeah, I cannot turn that motor whatsoever. Completely seized. Huh. Well, I don't know why exactly that would be, but uh, I guess we can start hunting for problems. Let's see if we can uh, get the motor out and find out if that's uh, seized on its own or if it's just the gearbox which is preventing it from turning. Well, I got that screw out and now uh, I can turn the motor with my hands, so that's good. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't quite uh, answer our question there. I guess that is a gearbox issue. So there we go, got that out. Uh, this should be able to turn by now. Well, we're getting a little bit of motion there. But it doesn't quite want to go. Like this should be freewheeling. So I've been playing around with this whole setup right here for a while and I really couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. I wasn't sure if something here was maybe getting caught up, but uh, it didn't seem to be that way. But I noticed I could turn it just a little bit and I thought, is it a possibility that maybe this thing is just seized with really old grease? And uh, yeah, so I took a little bit of oil, uh, some really light oil, and I just kind of put it in there to penetrate into all the bearings. And well, lo and behold, it's fine. So uh, yeah, that's really all the problem was. Unfortunately, I can't get in there to clean it out because uh, this piece will not uh, detach, but uh, it's turning so well, honestly, I don't think it's gonna be a problem. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. 
So now all we have to do is test the motor. I haven't uh, given this thing power yet, but we're gonna see if it works. I'm really hoping it does, because we got a fine chance. Yeah. I don't know, get the power here. Oh, yep. It's running, but that's not very good. Oh! Yeah, we got some issues. But just for a second there, it looked like it was uh, kind of going a little bit quicker. I think uh, we just need to really clean out the commutator because that looks quite dirty. And uh, I suspect the spaces are probably also a bit shorted, which could be why it's not working. So we're just going to take our uh, carbon fiber pencil here and we're just going to uh, clean all of the plates up. And you can see just how well that polishes up. Look at that. And we're now going to clean out the spaces uh, in between the plates on the commutator. And I really can't stress just how important this is, because uh, first of all, it's causing a short circuit, whatever's in here. And uh, not only that, but it's going to generate so much heat, it can actually destroy the commutator and essentially trash the motor. So uh, yeah, you want to make sure that these are uh, quite clean. And while we're at it with the carbon fiber pencil, we'll clean up the uh, brushes as well. They don't need too much. Yeah, that's quite bright. All right, here's the moment of truth. Okay, it's doing all right. Yeah, even a little bit of torque. So this part right here wouldn't hang on, and I looked, and this, which is supposed to be holding it in, is way too short, and the one for the motor is way too long, so uh, I could be wrong, but I feel like this might have been the motor mounting screw, and at some point somebody just swapped them around by accident. So we'll try that. So it looks like that screw was the right one. Unfortunately, it's not uh, turning very well, but I think it's just a lubrication issue. So if we add some oil to this, that will get it to free up. All right, so we got that all in there. Now let's see. Oh. If this wouldn't keep getting in the way, then it might actually work. Well, we've got the unit all back together. I guess there's only one thing left to do, which is to take this thing over the track and see if our efforts have paid off. I'm uh, really unsure though. Anyway, let's try it. All right, so here's the moment of truth. We're gonna get the unit all set up on the track here, get all those wheels on. I guess we'll see if that motor will uh, power up. Seem to be doing okay. I'm just not sure if under load it's gonna perform, but yeah, only one way to find out. I just saw a little bit of current draw. And now it's gone. So I guess it could be an electrical problem, but frankly, judging by that initial current draw, I think the motor might just be stuck in it. But if we just kind of play around. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Ah! She's a runner, serenity! Oh, oh boy. A bit of a derailment there, but you guys saw it moving. Wow, oh, look at that. Ah, I'm pretty happy. It seems to be running pretty smooth. Not too bad.
Wow, okay. She is a runner. Well, what can I say? I'm pretty happy with that. Well, folks, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. I really enjoyed uh, getting to fix this engine up, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I mean, uh, what can I say? It was completely seized when I got around to uh, working on it, and now it's uh, working once again. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. Anyways, with that, I wanna thank you all so much for watching.